Hey, Eddie here at Hyperstore.com. Today we're going to talk about entangling this mess and maybe give you a few tips about installing your new Hyper Chainsaw chain on your chainsaw. So when you get your new chainsaw chain, it's probably going to come in the package something like this. And this is just for ease of shipping. It makes a nice compact package. Now you might think, well this is all tangled up. This is terrible. Well, it's not really that bad. So the first thing you want to do is spread it out. There's usually going to be two loops. Now in this case, both of the loops are on top of the other chain. They cross over on top. This is a really easy one to do. You just take it and pull it like that. So let's look at that again closer up. We spread our chain out and we notice we've got two loops. Once again in this case, we have a loop that goes over the top here and a loop that goes over the top here. In this case, it's really simple. Just grab the top loop, pull it in the opposite direction, grab the lower loop and pull it in the, in the other direction. Now there's a lot of ways your chain is going to fall when you start straightening it out. In this case, we've actually got four loops. But you notice two of them are actually in the right orientation that we like, where they're both over the same way. So what we can do is grab the top one, pull it through, and now we've got two loops. Now, as we can see by these two opposite loops, we can't just pull this through and it, and it untangle. What we need to do is pull one of them through. So we'll take one, wrap it through, and then we will end up with our two loops both coming over in the same direction. And this works for however many loops you end up when you spread it out. A lot of times they'll spread out just like this, you'll be fine. All you do is pass the one on top over the other one and it comes free just like that. But you can have any number of loops. You just want to play with them until you get them like this where both sides are going over the top. It doesn't matter which orientation it is. You just want two loops that look like that because then it's easy to just pass the top one over the bottom one, pull it through, and you're done. I know when you first start messing with these things it can feel a little daunting, but they're all like this. It's just the nature of dealing with a thin chain like this. It's often going to come out and you're going to think, geez, there's no way this thing can get in the right orientation. But by playing with it a little bit and looking for the sides that have the same sort of passover, see we have four loops here now. These two pass over so we can pull that one through, pull it through, and now we have two. Again, we have opposite ones so we can pull one through the other direction, just like that, and we end up with our easy to solve puzzle. There's all sorts of tricks to this, but if you have some, we'd like to hear from you. Everyone has their own little special trick of doing this, but I just wanted to show you a sort of a close-up demonstration of what is actually going on when you're trying to untangle these. I hope that helps you. Installing a new chainsaw chain is usually pretty easy. With this model, this is a still MS-180, it's very simple. We have two knobs to worry about. Some chainsaws will have two nuts here that need to be removed, but essentially they're all going to work basically the same way. What you want to start with is taking the tension off the blade. In this case, we have a flip-up screw lever here. We just turn it a couple times. That'll take the tension off. You see the cover moves a little bit. Now we can start rolling back chain tension. Your chainsaw may have a tensioner that's down here at the bottom underneath where you actually use a screwdriver to do this. This one just uses a little rotary button. Let's finish taking off the cover. Just take off your cover. Now if you've got one with two posts and two nuts you just take those off. Pull that out and then we can pull the whole chainsaw off as an assembly. Just like so. You'll notice that my chainsaw blade in this case is upside down. It's a good idea to rotate your chainsaw blade back and forth and it also is a good idea to take a, a light file and go along the corners here. You will see a burr develop over time and that can interfere with your cut. So we're going to take this old chainsaw chain off. It just comes right off. Now different manufacturers have different ways of, of flipping your bar over. In this case we just have this screw. Just take this screw out. 
I'm also just going to wipe down the galley where the chainsaw runs. You can also blow this out, use a brush, brush it out. I want to put a little light coat of oil on it. And we'll just flip our bar back over once we've got it clean the way we like. Put our screw back in. And that's all there is to it. We now have flipped our bar over. You see that the, the manufacturer's marking is pointing upwards. Make sure that hole in the bar is clear. Make sure that that is clear. For a field change of your change, you're not going to do a thorough cleaning, but you do want to make sure that you your passages are clear and that there's generally get the large stuff off. So when you're installing your new chain, you want to make sure that the hooks on the top of the bar are facing forward. These points should be facing forward. So for this next step, I like to disengage the clutch by pushing the safety handle back. Notice that the clutch is now free ranging. Holding the chain tight, thread it on, and get it lined up with the gear. It's gonna be a little bit fidgety. Essentially, that's how it goes. Now we can go ahead and use our tensioner to tighten it up a little bit and make sure that everything is running in the right place, like so. Pull the chain through to make sure everything's running the way it should. We can put our outer cover back on, and before we completely tighten up our chain cover, we'll go ahead and set our tension to whatever your manufacturer recommends. Do remember that as your chain wears, you will have to adjust it from time to time. It will stretch. That is just a normal part of how these work. 